Hey, this is Jake from Mido. I'm going to give a quick overview of dropping duplicates or deduplicating in Pandas. It's a really important thing to do when it's coming to simplifying your data set to work with the values you really want. And some people struggle with it, so I'm just going to give a quick overview. It's actually really simple in Pandas. So all I'm doing here, importing the CSV as my data frame. Then here's my data frame, 854 rows, we can see. And then I just use the, the uh, Pandas drop duplicates function. It's really simple, just drop underscore duplicates and we apply that to our data frame and we see we're left with 816 rows. Another thing you might wanna do is you might wanna drop duplicates on just a specific column. So here we're dropping duplicates when an entire row is equal to another entire row. But here we can do that just dropping duplicates on a single column. So we're just gonna select city as that column. And we see when we do that, we're left with 737 rows. So a smaller data set than before on the more general drop duplicates. And the last thing I want to show here in a way to specify your drop duplicates process is you can decide which of the duplicates to actually keep. So for example, we have three, if we had like three rows with the same values, we could decide do we want to keep the first, the second, or the last of those values. And here we're signifying that we want to keep the last of those values. And we get a data set with 737 rows. Again, the same size as the one before, but just because we're selecting a different, uh, a different row to keep in the dropping process. And then the last thing I'll show is how we can call this data set into Mito, which is the tool I work on. And in Mito, let's say for example, here's the, here's the data set we called in, the deduplicate data set. Let's say we wanna apply a filter to the state column. I'll click add filter. And let's say I just wanna look at Pennsylvania. Here's my data set, automatically filtered in real time and below, we generate the code for that filter. So every edit we make in the Mito sheet is gonna generate the equivalent code below, whether it be a filter, a pivot table, a merge, a graph, et cetera. You, know, you can really analyze your data super efficiently in the tool. So I hope this video was helpful in terms of you know, dropping duplicates. It's an important thing to do when some people struggle with the syntax, so I just thought I'd quickly show you. And uh, thanks, check out our other videos.